Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's Thursday. That means it's Transformation Thursday, and I'm holding the consideration cards. These cards were developed by the creator of the Unstuck Method, Shira uh, Taylor Gura. She was my teacher and my coach. I'm grateful for her every day. Big shout out to Shira. She's doing amazing things for emotional well being and mental health in the world. She lives in Israel and um, just amazing, and I'm so grateful for her. So, consideration cards. Why is it called Transformation Thursday? In the Unstuck Method, we go through the acronym STUCK, and we go from the S T U C all the way down to the K. We do it in that order. The mind gets very used to that system, and we're able to get our, ourselves unstuck very quickly, especially from the minor um, disturbances in our life. Now, when we have a big suck, stuck story where we um, have something that we're, we're continuously stuck on, it takes a little bit longer. So when we um, are stuck in a thought that produces an emotion in our mood, it's really hard to consider anything else because when we're stuck, we're stuck. And we think we are right. Nope. Uh, you know, I can ask, is that true? Yes, it's true. I can prove that it's true. It's true. It's 100% true. Whew. It's really hard to consider any other perspective when we are stuck in that moment in our mind. So the beauty of the consideration cards is once we get beyond that stuck spot, the consideration cards give us an opportunity to think differently. When we do get unstuck, so when we're stuck in that emotion, we that's what every thought produces a stuck spot. Every stuck spot comes from a thought. So when we get past that it, and we uncover and investigate it for the truth, we want to give the mind something else to consider that it accepts as the truth so that we can move on. That's where we get unstuck, that new perspective. So on Thursdays, I do pull a card, and it's a lot of fun, but more than fun, it's a crucial piece of getting unstuck from the emotions that cause us pain and suffering. So every Thursday, I'll go live and draw a card. Last night, I posted that if you wanted me to pull a card, um, just to leave your, say yes, and I will. So I have 10 people that I'm going to pull a card for. If throughout the day, you would like me to pull a card just for you, just tag me in this post, say, pull a card or yes, please, and I will, I will put it in um, the comment section for you. So Michelle Duez, this card is for you. Michelle, consider you are capable. So for the entire week, every Thursday is, is Transformation Thursday. Um, good morning, Sierra. You are doing amazing work. So for one week, I want you to apply this. Write it in your journal. Write it on a piece of paper. You are capable. When I get stuck and I pull a card every Monday, it'll come to me. It'll come to me if I put it in my mind. Oh, wait, let me consider that I'm capable. And after I take a stop, I remind myself I'm capable. And guess what? I feel a lot more capable. I can consider that. Um, Sue Labonte, Sue Labonte, your consideration card is you can only control your own thoughts and reactions. You can only control your own thoughts and reactions. What a wonderful card. Next Wednesday, I'm hosting an event on how to cope with difficult emotions. And this card makes me think of that. So FYI, next Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m., I want you to have a journal ready. I want you to bring a pillow with you. And we're going to get to work. So um, I know I... I went, uh, I went to another, another area here, but Sue, you can only control your own thoughts and reactions. Consideration cards are pretty awesome. All right, Sue Bailey, consider empathy. Consider empathy. Where in your life can you consider empathy? Ashanta Veem, please send out to our friend. Um, she's going to be in labor in just a few weeks here. Um, let's send her a lot of calmness and strength 
And your card is my word for 2020, consider gratitude. I know you do, continue to do so. In every way, if you ever get stuck, consider gratitude. Uh, Julie Perrine, it's great to have you in our community. Welcome. Your consideration card is consider compassion. Consider compassion. Michelle, you just joined us. Um, your consideration card was consider you are capable. Ashanta, um, yours was just a moment ago. Uh, Julie Cottrell, Julie Cottrell, this card is for you. Consider what is most important in this moment. Mm, I love that. It's, it makes us be present. When we are stuck, we are in story. And if we can come back to the present moment, almost always in the present moment, things are okay. We're okay. We don't have to worry about and be anxious of something to come. We can leave the past behind. We can be in the moment. So consider what is most important in this moment and take a step forward from there. I love that card. Um, Ellie, Ellie Saunders, I'm going to see you in class tonight. Can't wait. Ellie, consider the way you are thinking isn't helping you. I consider that every day. <laughs> so Ellie, consider the way you are thinking isn't helping you. Now, if I pulled a card for you and it doesn't quite resonate and, a, and one of these other cards does, feel free to use that consideration. But I challenge you to use the card that I draw for you for an entire week. I'll pull a new card for you next Thursday. Use it and apply it in your life when it pops up, okay? Jane Halt, you are in West Virginia and the Carolinas. I can't keep up with you. Um, your consideration card is consider they are under pressure too. Consider they are under pressure too. You know, we often hear that quote, you know, we never know what's happening in somebody else's life when we, when we um, meet them, when we are in their space. And it's really easy for us to stay stuck in our story. But if we remember that we're all under pressure, remember we have that expansion and contraction happening simultaneously, or we swing to one direction to the other. So consider they are under pressure too. Ginger Durth, she was Yogi of the Month in December. Consider, Ginger, that you cannot control the past, but you can control your reaction to it. In Wednesday's event, this card is paramount. So not only am I going to show us how we resist our emotions and actually we're not coping with them, but I'm going to share us a really powerful stuck and unstuck moment that I recently had. And this comes to mind. You cannot control the past, but you can control your reaction to it. As a matter of fact, I might even put it aside and use it in our class next Wednesday evening. Denise Myers, you always like a card. So this one, Denise, is for you. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Consider patience. Consider patience. All right, so that was the pool for the week. But like I said, if you can't join me live and you still want me to pull a card, just say, read me, pull a card. Yes, please, whatever you want in the comment section, make sure I'm tagged and I will be happy to post it for you throughout the day or at least some point today. So my friends, Transformation Thursday, it's all about changing our mindset. Nothing else in your life has to change. You can still be, be in the same job that you don't want to be in. But if we change our mindset, we change it all. You can be in a relationship that is difficult, that is draining of your energy. And even though that relationship isn't changing, if you change your mindset, you are going to be okay. It's all about putting the, Ashley Turner used this, this analogy once of the chariot, the chariot and the horses are the mind. And when we are in story and we are really stressed, 
the horses and the chariot are just running amok and we're going everywhere and you can just visualize that. You can feel that energy shift in our body. What we want to do is we want to hold those reins. We want to pull the mind in. We want to direct the mind where we want to take it. And that's what getting unstuck does. So the consideration is the consideration cards and any consideration when we're stuck is so important to flex the muscles of the muscle in the mind, to build it and bring bring ourselves into that that seat where we're controlling the mind all right tomorrow is fabulous friday and that means that we practice the final step in the unstuck method the k step the kindness step if you catch yourself with your inner critic belittling yourself telling yourself you're not enough this is about changing that that loop in the mind from a negative feedback loop loop to a positive. Every Friday I will offer you some type of self-care um, that you can do for yourself, by yourself, because that, in my opinion, is what true self-care is. Being Having tools accessible to you 24-7, it's great to get a massage, it's great to go to the gym, but sometimes we can't do that. So we want to have the tools that strengthen us every single day. So tomorrow, I'm actually going to demonstrate a restorative yoga posture. I'll be doing it in the yoga den, and it will um, support the event next week on how to cope with difficult emotions, as well as the event I'm having in February on um, ways to improve your sleep and, and to calm the unconscious mind. All right, that's it, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate every one of you. I look forward to getting unstuck with you. Lots of amazing things coming up. I want you to make it a great day. Consider your gratitude. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.